partying with my friends. It's hard. But for them, the Colonel's death signaled the end of their journey. And the beginning of a new life on the shores of Lake Baikal. For me, the loss became a threshold between the Order and my own life. Between duty and my dream to see Dad again. And like Artyom before, I chose to pursue my wild dream. Along the way, I sometimes felt that the trees, ruins, and leaning wire posts vanishing behind were just an endless movie reel projected onto a ragged screen just for me. A lonely late night viewer in an empty theater. <laughs> Yet every morning, the sun rising dead ahead brought another change of scenery, making sure that I was, in fact, getting closer to the Pacific. Obstacles on the way. One day, <laughs> sitting in a recliner on my dad's porch, I might actually be tempted to start a book about this trip or something. One day, but not here. Not now. I see the town that's to become my springboard for a leap across the ocean, and I smell salt in the air. If there really is even a slight chance of me ever getting home, I will find it here. Saying my goodbyes to Dad before going to Russia, I promised him this was going to be my last tour of duty. Besides, I, I wasn't going to war. I expected a cushy job guarding the embassy. How could I know that instead of a cushy job, waiting for me were mushroom clouds, desperate struggle, salvation, and a tour of duty that would last 20 years? But as soon as Artyom's dogged determination to break out of the tunnels paid off the way it did, I hope to see my father again took root. As we were going east, that hope grew. By the time we reached Novosibirsk, going home was the only thing I could think about. Only duty before my commander and my friends kept me from leaving immediately. But my service with the Order came to an end on the shores of Lake Baikal. There, on that hill, through the terrible pain of loss, I could feel that my friends had also found closure. Their journey was over. Not mine, though. The hope that's been nagging on me for so long now turned into an obsession. The purpose of my life. I had to go. And my friends, who had long since become my family, only understood. As I'm entering the outskirts of Vladivostok, I know I was immensely lucky to have gotten even this far. But since fate chose to take me here, to the Pacific, I must do everything I can to find a way home. And see my old man again.
Привет, Владивосток. Lost, you idiot! Watch out, boy! Don't get hit! <laughs> Don't fucking kill him! Shoot his legs if you must! I'm warning you! Next time I'll shoot to kill! What you have me do? I guess that's all. I'm not greedy. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't worry. We ain't gonna kill you. The kingpin wants you alive. And how do you know what he wants? I have my sources. As for you, stop wasting my time and come on. Show yourself so I know where to go. Fucking year. Much obliged. Motherfucker! You got our boss! Shoot the fucker, boys! <laughs> You're welcome to try it! I have enough ammo for all of you! I think we got all of them! Those were some neat moves! Come up here and let's go! Alright! <laughs> <laughs> 